Hey, too. Darren here. Uh, sad to say, after the turtle underwater video that I did, I put on Facebook, uh, camera messed up and it ate up the last few minutes of the uh, carburetor video. Sorry, guys. But, carbs all back together. And I did want to uh, put it back on there just to kind of show you how uh, I do all of that. Because uh, there's a couple of little things to do to this, and it goes on a lot easier. More okay, coming just a minute. Now, before we go ahead and do that carburetor, I wanted to do this so it'll be drying. We're going to get ready to paint this. We talked about using a truck bed coating on this. I'm not actually going to do it. Uh, I went into town yesterday to go get it, and they were out of it at uh, Walmart. I couldn't find it. And so, I'm not going back to town. Uh, it's an hour, uh, 30 minutes each way getting into town and back so we're just going to do a nice black on it to seal it up i can do that later so you've all seen black paint go on so there's really nothing to watch on this but i will show you the finished product now we're going to bounce back up to the carpet okay guys there everything's all painted up second coat letting it dry more to come okay guys let's take a look at this carburetor this is going to be the back of it. This is going to go towards the engine. This is going to be sticking out towards the front. That's a choke. I'm going to mount this thing on here. I'm going to put the gasket on. There we go. I have this bowl and this drain plug turns sideways. If you turn it straight, the bracket will block it up and you can't access it to drain your carburetor bolt if you ever need to. So, I put it on there like this. At probably a Eh, 45 degree angle, something like that. More to come. Okay, guys, now we have a carburetor. This is the clip that holds this piece of linkage. We're going to go ahead and fit this on there, clip it on. We still have the spring to put on. We'll do that when we get it on completely. Now, I'm going to take this guy. slide that over. We still have to get this one in place. And this one might take a little bit of tweaking and adjusting. Looks like I'm going to have to slide that back off. Now the reason I was able to get it slid on there, and believe it or not, that was actually kind of easy, was because I'd loosened that, that bracket right there. So that's all on except for this spring, and now we're going to just lift it up and clip it over. Let me get us at a better angle. Okay guys. This is the throttle linkage. This is that little clip I was telling you about. I'm gonna take that guy, I'm gonna push it on, locks it into place. We still have to do this little spring. You see me pulling this up, I'm using a small pair of needle nose. There we go, that's hooked into place. That's all on. Now, I have put it all on and noticed that the gasket was laying in the floor. So make sure your gasket's in place as well. And it is pretty much all on. This is what we were talking about by not having it centered straight up because 
once you put this on, you won't be able to adjust this. So that's all on there, really good. I'll take this bolt off, I'm gonna do everything backwards. I'm gonna put all the linkage back on. More to come in just a second. Okay guys, this right here is the linkage that adjusts the choke. And because we put those marks on it, we're gonna line it up. And it's gonna go back together pretty easy that way. I hate having to adjust and adjust and adjust on something when I could have taken a couple of minutes and fixed it. Okay, the choke is closed, open, closed, open. Can't beat it. Didn't have to fight with it or fiddle with it. This down here. This is the linkage for the throttle. And we have done the same thing to it. Believe it or not, although I can't see it. Hmm, I have to take it off so I can find it. That's it. It's all put back together this well not quite put back together but this is all squared away and you can see where everything goes one of the things I would do that I did not do if there is more than one hole or position that your throttle linkage can go into I would mark it with a sharpie or scribe it with an etch or something like that just so you don't have to worry about putting it in the wrong spot. Because when I first came out here and uh, was putting it back on, I put it down in that. And that would have just been a pain in the butt. So, something good to do. That's about it, guys. Now, I hope this video is finished. Longest video, the hardest video I ever did because I lost half of it. Had to go back and redo it and take everything off and then put it back on for the second video. Y'all gonna make some mayhem.